All right, so on this job, what we're here to do is we got a three bay garage. We got a tire mat, a rebar in it, 16 inches on center. We're using number four rebar. So we're just getting everything laid out right now. We're gonna lay out the long way first and then we'll lay the crossbars the other way, get them cut up to where we need to do them and then tie it all together and then get it up on brick. So we'll show you how we do that today. Hey guys, so on this job, we got about 100 bars of rebar to tie in here. Now on some of these jobs, you know, we do do the prep work. So the people we're working for is the foundation guys. The builders are the ones that did the poly and the styrofoam, but the rebar was in the floor package. So they were, we were hired to come down and just prep the rebar. 16 inches on center is what the spec called for. Number four rebar, which is half inch rebar. So we had the 20, uh, 20 foot bars delivered on site so we didn't have to carry them down. And basically we're just gonna tie these in. So I'll go around with a tape measure and a can of orange spray paint and I'll, I'll go all the way around the perimeter and measure out my 16 inches. And then I'll go down the middle. You can see those dots right there. And I'll measure out the 16 inches. So we can keep these bars, you know, relatively straight so they look good and look like they were done by professionals. And that's basically how I do the layout. And then we'll lay in the bars. We'll get them all one way. We'll get them mostly all laid in before we got to cut anything. And then once we get those laid in, we'll tie the splices together. We overlap them, you know, 12 to probably 12 to 14 inches, tie the splices together. And then we can start laying the bars the other way. Now here we are cutting some for the end. We needed some probably, I think they were 11 footers. This is one of the easiest ways we found to cut is just with a quick cut saw with a metal blade on it. So there's a lot of ways you cut rebar. That's one of the fastest ways. Now the way we tie these together is we use these little tools called a yo-yo and these loop ties, they're six inch loop ties. There's a bunch of different ways you could tie these. Some guys like using just wire with pliers and just kind of twisting it around. There's uh, battery powered rebar tying, wire tying guns you can use. We don't tie enough bar to really justify having one of those guns, I don't think. Um, I mean, I'd love to have one if someone's got one out there and they want to send it to us so we can use it on video By all means send it. We'll put it on the video But for me to go buy one, I don't know. We don't tie a ton of bar This is one of the probably one of the bigger rebar jobs. We'll have all year right here So we just use these yo-yos and wire ties and they go pretty fast And then you know when on a job this big you can tie like every other one and it's rigid enough to be held up on these bricks like this to get it up off the air. And then we'll set our grades. You know, we, uh, we're we gonna have some slope to this garage. It's about six inches thick. The part way in the back where the man door is there, that's gonna be flat. The three garage door part is gonna be slope back about 20 feet, back to about where the laser is actually. And then from the laser to that back wall is gonna be flat. Now something else they also wanted us to do is, I guess when they did the foundation, they were supposed to sink in some rebar in this in the cutouts where the doors were, but they didn't. So we're just gonna drill down and uh, pin these in there. We'll just bend some rebar over right into the mat of steel itself. And that'll kind of tie the floor into the foundation wall right there. We don't have to do this on too many residential garages. Um, but it's not it's not a bad idea. I guess maybe they're gonna be driving something in here heavier than just a regular car I don't really know. They don't tell us that stuff They just said, you know, hey, can you take five bars and drill them down in each garage door and then a couple in the man door Bend them over about, you know, two and a half three feet Tie them to the mat. So that's what we're doing. I just have a little rebar bender that thing's pretty cool So you can use that for a half inch bar. You can use it for three eighths bar and it just gives you a little bit of leverage for bending over the rebar. It works really good. It's pretty fast. That stuff actually bends a little bit easier than you'd think with something like that. <laughs> and then we just tie it all together and it's as easy as it is. So good morning everybody. It's a Friday. We've got a three bay garage about 50 by 30 down here on the ocean in Belfast, Maine. First truck's just showing up about 6.30 in the morning. Got 30 yards coming. Roughly between a five and a half, six and a half inch slab. We tied that matter rebar in there yesterday. Got a little slope to it. Got our regular floor mix, 3500. 
mid-range water reducer. You got him? Getting it up the slump, he's got a gauge right there. He goes by, gives it water, he watches the pressure in the tank, and that's supposed to get him pretty close to what slump you ask for, depending on where that pressure in the tank goes to. Hopefully, we'll see how close he gets it. With the mid range, we can pour about a seven inch slump today, so this is one of the reasons we do it too, because you can see the reach. Still got a little bit of a pole to go. Strike a little bit more. Now because we're using the water reducer, we can pour a little bit looser slum. This is exactly why we use that stuff for cases like this, so we can get it to the back wall. Yeah, let's get out, at least the way this straight line is. So this back section of the garage is flat where that man door is from the back of the garage to the front of the garage, but the rest of the garage slopes where the doors are. Down just a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the rebound dance. I didn't go to that last one. No, oh, I know. Oh man, that was, must have been disappointing. Hey, Harvey, you grab the shoot for a sec. I'm gonna grab the grade set. Pretty good there. I'm gonna make another 
Yeah. Get a flow like this, it's that average is you know around six inches thick. It's only gonna 10 yards is only gonna go about 500 square feet, so you can dump a 10 yard truck out pretty fast. And you know, this is 50 by 30, so visually, we want to look at did he go about a third of the way? <laughs> I don't, I don't think he's quite at a third, but the only good thing about that that I can say is this end up here was a little bit thicker than the rest of it where the garage doors are. So it was a good six, six and a half up here. And then from the rest of it, it goes from about five inches in front of the doors up to about six. So I think you'll see this truck here is gonna go a little bit further than the first truck did just by eye. And then when we get that third truck, hopefully we get enough. It's, it's just, you know, it's. It's difficult to figure concrete when the guys don't grade the subgrade very well. When you go from five inches to really almost seven inches, and it's just up and down, nothing's really consistent. You know, we're over an hour away from the concrete plant, so we can't really run out of concrete and hope for a balance. So you gotta, you know, that's why we spray paint the thickness in a bunch of different areas on the on the styrofoam and then we kind of use that visually as a as a way to get an average of the thickness and break the floor up into different areas as far as concrete goes so i'll take okay this third of the floor is going to take this many yards this third is going to take this many this third is going to take this many and then even add another yard or two on top of that so we don't run out of concrete i mean if we run out of concrete today on a friday way down here an hour, over an hour away from the concrete plant who knows when we'd get a balance if we even get one it would be hours before a balance load showed up the one good thing about doing a garage like this with a slope let's say we did run like two wheelbarrows short i mean technically we could drop the front like a quarter of an inch all along these three doors and make up those two wheelbarrows that we ran short just by dropping the front just a little bit and that really doesn't hurt anything at all. The, the grade out here is plenty low enough. The slab thickness is plenty thick enough. That's one good thing about doing a, a garage with a slope in the floor. But I'm, I'm thinking, I ordered three extra yards down here than what I figured. So I'm thinking we're gonna be okay today, we'll see. All right, Daryl, I'll back you up. Alright, so with it, that part was flat back there, and then this part all slopes out. What they want to do is keep about the back 9 or 10 feet flat, and then slope the, re the rest of the 20. So I'll make my pads right at about 9 feet across the back flat. We'll strike those, and then this last 20 feet will slope out the doors. 
About ten more, Daryl. There we go, a little faster. Good now. Here, I gotta have that little. Yeah, it's gonna be a little right there. I think we'll just feather that down onto that two by. Well, it's gonna be somewhat flat, right? For your garage doors. Yeah, it'll be. It'll be alright. What? The twitch. Oh, I didn't know if that was gonna fit in there. <laughs> oh, we'll make it work. Favor, can you pass me that scraper right there? It takes that off, drop it right down, and I'll scrape yeah. it. You had Rick in there yesterday, huh? You had Rick batching yesterday? Yeah. Oh, you is it? You come out of Damascada today? Yeah. Oh, you came out of Augusta. Funny, I texted Joe this morning. He never responded. Really? That's weird. You see, right on. Yeah, I know it. Oh well, I'll hold this till you get out. Yeah. Yeah, you're actually doing pretty good. That's good. Yeah. It gets long and all. Must be good. Good for you guys. Yep. Yeah, I'll pass Harvey's truck a little bit. Okay. That's what I was thinking, just a little hump like that. What was you thinking? Uh, yeah, no, no, I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to strike the other head. Let me go one more time, just a little bit. Bring that out a couple feet and I'll both float one more time. 
you got enough mud there. Alright, so again, that, that part up in there is flat, and then it transitions to a slope here. So the way we do that, I don't know if you see that in my shadow, but that comes out flat, and then it kind of just slopes down to here, and this slopes up. So there's a little bit of a, uh, just a transition there between where it goes from flat to where it goes slope. And that's how we do it all when we do it all one four like that. They're going to be building a, a wall right here, that's why they want that pot to sit on the flat section of the floor. Take a couple swipes right here. Let me mag a little bit. Yeah. A leg don't kick you. No likey. Oh, Harvey grabbed right on. Look at that. Yeah, pretty good there. Just need to extend that pad out just a little bit. Forget it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Abby? Yep. We'll try that right there. Perfect. Am I the first guy to tell you you're perfect? Yes. yes. <laughs> Got it on I camera. Mean, I get a lot of guys that say, <laughs> Oh man, that was great. Thank you. Good good thing you know it's perfect though. That's the that's the pinnacle. That is, yeah. I, I finally found it. Go my back call. and tell Joe you're the pinnacle today. <laughs> you're the standard. Don't do that. You're the, you set the bar. Dude, my ego's high enough without your help. <laughs> Having you add to it is just I mean, it's setting me in the god mode. That's here. what we're here for, to add to your ego. Oh, well, I'll take it. <laughs> Are you guys done with your screens? Yeah. I, I think we're done with them too, yeah. I think we need a little bit of Another wheelbarrow? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. Go for Javi, he's on a mission.
I don't know. I'm just a laborer. That's what I'm going to say from now on. No. Nope. I'm just a laborer. That's not going to work. They just hired me off the corner today. This is my first Haven't day. Have you noticed that I, when I see someone coming, I walk the other way? They flock to you. Or I say, why is Mike? He's the owner. Oh, the owner just left. Can you get a little swag flock? Yeah. See how pushy he is sometimes? I know. He's can't even say please. Oh, man, they're, they're, they're both, they hang out too much together. Jeez. Bossy. Can I please have another shot? You want another one? Yes. You're taking away that whole pinnacle thing. Oh, man. That would make sense why he was the first truck. That would make sense why when I got there, he was already gone. Alright, so that'll do it for the four. That's 30 yards. I don't know, he's probably got a yard or two left, I'm sure. Looked like it, as far as visually. Uh, Mid-range water reducer, 3500 PSI. It's got microfiber in it, along with that matted rebar, 16 inches on center, number four rebar. We tied all that, got it up on bricks. Uh, it's got a little bit of air entrainment in it because it doesn't look like it's going to be a heated garage So always put a little bit of air in the concrete to help protect with freezing thaw They do get freezing temperatures down here from December to March usually even though they're right on the ocean Nice place. It's gonna be a nice garage so That's gonna do it for us today. We're gonna clean up load the truck uh, Darren and Luke will stay here and power trial this. They'll get it sawed today I'm gonna go set some jobs up for next week. Today is Friday We've already got Creed ordered for Monday, Tuesday, and Friday of next week. So we're going to get uh, Wednesday and Thursday kind of planned out. We've got a big epoxy coating coming up in a brewery. we we'll probably start that with the grinding and patching. So it's going to be a busy week. Uh, it's the uh, third week of April right now. We've got one more week of April, then we're right into May. So things are starting to crank, take off. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.